Okay, so we have learned all the fundamentals of vector spaces uh, in the past few lectures. Before diving into quantum mechanics and the axioms of quantum mechanics, we will learn about a convention of writing vectors that we will be using in this course. All right. We uh, this convention or this notation is called Dirac notation. Dirac notation of writing vectors. It was introduced by Paul Dirac. He was a mm, f British physicist, mathematician. All right, and did many fundamental works uh, on the foundations of quantum mechanics. So, in Dirac notation. Uh, we write complex numbers uh, suppose uh, until now we have been writing complex numbers like this co sorry complex vectors we have been writing complex vectors using the letters suppose u or v we had we used arrows up to now a b like this okay so from now uh, we will write vectors of complex vector spaces using this all right this is called a ket okay this is just a notational convenience or notational convention this is called a ket all right any vector uh, we will write using this notation suppose uh, the, uh, as before we can uh, uh, the vector u was a1 a2 dot 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 okay this is called a ket similarly as before we can write the vector v like this v equals b1 b2 dot 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 bn the thing that we write here is entirely for sorry is entirely for convenience okay this is used entirely for convenience you can write here the letters u v or we will often write here 0 1 to denote basis states and many things this can be anything we can write here anything for uh, that we want to distinguish one vector from another in fact we can in fact we can also use pictures like when we will talk about spins we can uh, write these kets as like this using arrows okay in fact uh, uh, if you have heard of well Schrodinger's famous cat thought experiment you can uh, even use cats in this place all right well that was a very bad cat but you can use pictures as well anything we can use in this space to uh, uh, so that to denote the vectors that we need to all right so this is these are called kits same similarly um, for defining inner products we use the dagger notation all right we defined inner products like this u and v equals to u dagger v so in this kit notation in Dirac notation we will define inner products like this u v equals to u dagger v sorry um u dagger v all right so this thing this dagger of a kit this has been given another notation by dirac we denote the dagger of a ket the dagger of a ket by this all right so thinking simply uh, a as we know that if we have a um, if we have a vector u if we have a vector u that is like this a1 dot 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 a n then we know that the dagger of that vector will be a row vector all right a1 conjugate dot 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 a n conjugate so you can think of the notation like this 
for um, column vectors we use kits we use kits and for row vectors we use this notation all right these are called bra vectors this name was actually given by Dirac from bracket Oops. from bracket he separately used two parts of this naming bra vectors are used for row vectors like this and kit vectors are used for column vectors like this okay all right so <coughs> Um, for defining inner products we can use um, the inner product of two vectors u comma v is equal to the bra vector of u times the ket vector of v all right so for even uh, for even further if we want to condense our notation dirac introduced this format for writing an inner product instead of writing these two bars separately we will write it like this okay so this this symbol denotes the inner product of the vector u and v okay all right so uh, if we recap all the mathematical notations that uh, mathematical concepts and notations that we have been learning on up to now uh, we had learned that the norm of a vector uh, how will we write the norm of a vector using the Dirac notation all right suppose we have a vector u the norm of a vector u we have a vector u and the norm of a vector is written like this we give two vertical slashes then write the vector all right then again two vertical slashes it we defined it as the square root of the vectors inner product with itself so using the Dirac notation we will write it like this u u simple all right okay so what uh, using the Dirac rotation how can we write the condition of orthogonality we can write the condition of orthogonality as um, we had the condition that two vectors in our product will be zero using the Dirac notation this will be written as um, u v equals zero well simple as that okay so that's about it about Dirac notation we will write row vectors using kets we will write column vectors using bras and we will write inner products using only one vertical uh, vertical slash okay uh, instead of using two just for notational convenience and for condensing our notation so that well it doesn't take too much space okay thank you